Oh, what's up, everybody? So, let's talk about pork, pig, oink, oink. So, this summer, back in July, the Lord told me, and I shared on this channel, um, you know, to stop eating pork. And no, I didn't make a video specifically about pork, like I am now, but that was in the mix of things that God was telling me regarding my diet to share with everybody. So today, someone shared with me a video, and maybe I'll put it in the description box below, of this lady who poured, I think it was Pepsi, on a raw piece of pork, and all these maggots started crawling out of it. So... What's interesting is, you know, I'm, I'm doing a Daniel fast right now. I'm doing a 40-day Daniel fast. And the one hot thing that I've been eating so far, I'm on, what, day 10 now, um, is Bush's Baked Beans. And the one flavor that I like is the Homestyle, which is the, uh, the, the flavor that has, like, a chunk of bacon in it for flavor, right? And so this has been one of my staple stocking items for my prepping. And, you know, just recently, as I've been on this Daniel Fast, the Lord led me to some of Dr. Gundry's infomercials that explained about lectins. And he says that beans contain lectins, and lectins tear holes in your gut and cause you to have leaky gut syndrome and therefore cause microscopic poop to get into the rest of your body, including your brain, causing brain fog and aches and pains and so on and so forth. And so I was already kind of like just, you know, contemplating, pondering, you know, kind of, you know cutting beans out of my diet. I've never really ate much beans, to be honest. It was just a prep item because I knew that it supposedly had protein and potassium. But it had become a very staple part of my diet on this Daniel Fast so far. So I just went to open a brand new big old can of my homestyle flavor Bush's Baked Beans. And when I first opened it, there seemed a little something off just by looking at it. But I was like, well, you know, no big deal. Maybe it's just me, whatever. I scooped the chunk of bacon out and put it in the garbage like I always do. And I scooped whatever was seemingly... Uh, you know, kind of like fat that was on the, like, the top. I would just kind of skim that off the top and, you know, put that in the garbage and whatever. So as I'm cooking it, there's all these little tiny air bubbles. And I'm like, okay, I've been, I've gone through a good, I don't know, at least two, three, four cans so far on this fast. And there was no air bubbles. What's up with the air bubbles? And so I asked Holy Spirit, I said, Lord, is this safe for me to eat? And I got a no, and I confirmed it a few times. And I said, okay, and now I'm just curious, what's up with this, Lord? And Holy Spirit said, there's maggots in it, just like in the video you saw today. And so I started kind of like, you know, stirring and looking. And I dumped it into the garbage, and sure enough, there was little tiny worm maggot looking things. And I was like, oh wow, that's gross. And it wasn't even, like the best buy date on this was February of 2022, okay? And what Holy Spirit said to me was, the maggots came from the bacon, the pork. And... Something else the Holy Spirit said to me is, I know lately there's been a video circulating of that human pig, the abomination. Um, Mike444 shared it, and so did uh, Susanna Noel, and it's just been floating around. I know I forwarded it out to a bunch of people. But here's what the Lord said. How do you know, if, if you're eating pork, how do you know that that pork doesn't have human genomes human DNA, and therefore you would be a cannibal. Okay? Just food for thought. Um, now, I guess, I, so at this point, I'm, I'm getting rid of all these beans that are in my preps. Uh, I was going to finish them off, but I'm taking them back to the store. 
and uh, that's that because they've got lectins anyway and I don't need lectins so I just thought I would share this with everybody that you know again back in July the Lord told me stop eating pork and I just also want to remind and emphasize that there has been a handful now of people this year who have gotten rhema words from the Lord off the top of my head prophetess Dr. Alexis um, there is a uh, Gwendolyn song myself um, there's a husband wife channel I forget the name of their channel they're African-American um, I had shared their videos in the description boxes of some of my videos um, and then this other channel that I recently came across is Vicki I forget her last name um, okay the Lord is telling us to change our diets and you have to seek the Lord for yourself on this but you need to be seeking him okay and if you're not fasting if you haven't fasted you need to fast okay um, but the Lord if overall the general direction that the Lord seems to be trying to direct us regarding what we're consuming is to get away from pork to get away from cow, anything, beef, steak, dairy, okay, um, and then, you know, if you want to look into the whole lect uh, lectin thing, L-E-C-T-I-N, uh, go into, you know, Dr. Gundry's research and all that regarding leaky gut syndrome and all that, you know, that's between you and God, um, the Lord told me, you know, kosher and organic, and he's told me, he's told Gwendolyn Song, and I'm sure many others, to always pray over your food, bless it in Jesus' name, etc. Just like Jesus did, he gave us the example. Um, so I just wanted to kind of just punctuate this, okay? Um, and something else the Holy Spirit said to me was, you know, wasn't it about like two years ago? If I remember correctly, it was around 2019 that everywhere you looked, Everybody was, you know, like what was trendy was to promote bacon. Everything was bacon, you know. And there was pictures of like people wrapping their Thanksgiving turkey in bacon. And bacon, 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 bacon. Hmm. Could this be part of the brainwashing, the programming, the agenda, etc. To get everyone to start eating pork even more so. So that they could turn everyone into cannibals because they're messing with pigs DNA with, you know, they're mixing it with human, human DNA to get people already consuming, you know, human flesh and whatnot. Okay, just, just think about all this. You gotta, you, you gotta put all these puzzle pieces together, okay? So, anyway, just food for thought and prayer. I bless you all in Jesus' name.